another week and another show. Welcome to today's exciting episode. How will the new Nairobi master plan change the current landscape? Find out in part two of our interview coming later in the show. We begin with our property of the week, the DG Oasis Apartments. DG Properties, a member of Dauda Group, is a leading diversified business group in the East African region. It has been involved in development since 1992 in projects that include residential, commercial and warehousing across Kenya and Uganda. An oasis is defined as a place of safety, serenity and happiness amidst chaos. And this is why you should make DG Oasis your dream home. What we are trying to do here is to cater for the general middle class that has grown up and give them a quality product. Security is key, so abundant measures have been taken. Uh, once you approach the development, that's at the entry level, you'll realize that there's uh, uh, electric fencing all around that uh, improves security. Secondly, we've got a uh, well-manned guard room. The guard room is quite extensive. It's, uh, They've got 32 CCTV cameras that are recording throughout the site, which have night vision and they're also motion sensitive. We've got a telecommunication system from the guard to every apartment. So when, when uh, a visitor comes in, they're able to talk to each apartment and seek permission uh, so that you could allow the person to come in. And uh, that's, I think, an added advantage. At every block before you enter, what we have is a video comm system. So every person entering has to uh, press the apartment number on the video comm system. Uh, you can see the person, you can talk to the person and that, at, at a push of a button, you can let them in. Oh hi, that was very quick, we yeah, already. Yeah, Fine, I'll just open the door. Every design aspect in the apartment has a practical use. For instance, the front door slants at an angle so that on opening it, guests can be directed into the lounge without having to see the whole house. The sitting room has an elegant timber laminated floor. A sliding door occupies one entire sitting room wall, bringing in ample light. The balcony is spacious. You may select from a range of pastel colors for your walls and the developers will paint them for you on a complementary basis using high quality imported paint. Superior quality and excellence is a running theme in all areas of the house. The rest of the house has tile flooring. The kitchen is very functional and has a very upmarket breakfast cum bar counter with a lockable glass cabinet to keep specific drinks out of children's reach. A ventilation hood is included with the option of a space for a four burner or six burner cooker. Soft touch cabinets and drawers come in convenient hydraulic and pull out designs. Under the sink is a water heater and a reverse osmosis plant that treats water, making it safe to drink. Another different, different thing that we've done is we've given options of the DSQ, four or five, four different options whereby you could choose to have an extended dining room or you have a separate uh, uh, study room. I think that is a, another unique thing we've done so that people can get a chance to personalize their home the way they want. Your safety has been taken into account, so your gas cylinder will have its place outside the kitchen in the utility area. Adjacent to this is the self-contained servant's quarters that has a separate entrance from the lobby. Little niches dot the house, offering more space for decor, such as these that are positioned below the video comm. The lockable pantry contains strong shelving for storage. If you look at the wardrobe we have provided in the passage, you need some storage space. You know, when you do shopping, you have extra toiletries, towels, napkins, uh, extra shoes. There's a special shoe cabinet. You know. 
Every apartment has three spacious bedrooms. The first bedroom is an ensuite which exhibits ample wardrobes with built-in dressers and large mirrors. All bedrooms have TV points and the whole house has provision for Wi-Fi. The bathroom is beautifully designed. Compared to the usual soap dish that can't hold much, two wall niches have been built in the shower cubicle providing you with sufficient room for multiple bathing accessories. The second bedroom is similar to the first, although it is not in suit. There is a common bathroom right opposite the room that can be shared with the visitors. The master bedroom is to die for. Wardrobe finishes, if you look at them, they're very well designed, they are very creative. We have uh, made the wardrobe to double up as, as a, a dressing, uh, uh, as a dresser as well. Where you're not spe specifically cutting out a space, the wardrobe door has two mirrors that you, uh, that you face and drawers underneath, so you can use that as a dresser. So you don't need a special place for a dressing room you know, or a dressing area which wastes space. You could use that space for something better. A sliding door with a French balcony lets in abundant fresh air and light. In the master bathroom, you have the option of a bathtub or a shower cubicle. During the cold months, the solar water heater will be backed up by an electrical water heater. You can set three peak times where you want a certain temperature of the water. Uh, and in case the water is not at that temperature naturally with the solar, it will boost it. Say goodbye to water shortages. The water system for every apartment is pressurized, so you've got pressure pumps going through the entire house. Electricity is another valuable basic necessity whose consistency has been factored in. For the common uh, facilities there is a generator which will take care of all the external lighting and external facilities. Uh, for every apartment we have provided uh, an inverter. You're having the comfort of power all the time, no power outs. An important element that the developers want to emphasize is the importance of community living. What will happen in this community, which we, which we also are trying to bring back, it's like something what we used to have in, during our childhood. We used to play with all the neighbors around, you know, socialize, mix with each other, uh, from all, from people from different, different cultures. Keep an eye on your children from the comfort of garden benches next to water features dotting the manicured lawns. Exercise along the jogging lanes or join the nearby gym at the planned mall. Great attention to detail has been used in the design of the DG Oasis apartments to enhance comfort for residents. For instance, all areas are wheelchair friendly, making them suitable for the disabled and the elderly. And the lifts are not just ordinary lifts, the lifts are panoramic lifts. Not, because just, the, not, not, just, not just because they look nice. Glass lifts help you in bringing light into the lobby as well. So there are many, many pluses to it. The lifts also have a safety device whereby in case of a power failure and any kind of backups failing, it will go to the next floor and the doors will open. Phase 1 with 128 units will be completed in December 2015. Two more phases with additional 240 units will be built on a total of 10 acres. On completion of Phase 3, there will be a mini mall, supermarket, clubhouse, rooftop pool, lounge, gym, spa and a kindergarten that will be themed based on a popular children's story character so as to make children excited about going to school. Unlike many other developments, there will be a management office that's still part of the developer, thereby objectively catering to all residents' needs. The off-plan price of the apartments is 15 million shillings. We have an apartment in our sales office. The reason for this is not just for selling. It's more so because we wanted to understand that we have provided all the facilities required as we had uh, visioned, you know, are there. To an extent, all the finishes that we desire are, are there and are possible to achieve. It's not just a promise that we give and we can't achieve. 